Do you need some fun games and activities to teach students about equivalent fractions? In this video, I will share six easy activities ready for you to use in your classroom tomorrow. Promoting success for you and your students. Subscribe to our channel, follow our blog, and visit our store for tons of teaching resources. Research shows that students of all ages struggle with fractions. Because fractions are so complex, give your students lots of time to practice the foundational concepts. These six activities will help get you started. The first teaching idea is to make fractions hands-on with Play-Doh. Give students equal amounts of Play-Doh. Have them divide all of their given Play-Doh into various equal parts. For example, Johnny has divided his Play-Doh into four equal parts. Sam has divided his into two parts. How many of Johnny's fourths equal one of Sam's halves? The second idea works really well in a math center or at sensory tables. Provide the students with bowls, measuring spoons, and measuring cups. Dried beans work really well and are less messy than water. How many one-fourth cups fit into the one whole cup? The third idea uses a kid favorite, Legos. The blue Lego, the one with four by two studs on it, represents one whole. A red Lego is half the size of a blue Lego. How many red Legos are equal to one blue Lego? How many green Legos equal one red Lego? In other words, how many one-fourths are equal to one-half? The fourth teaching resource uses fraction strips or paper folding. This method really helps students understand that in order to compare fractions, their whole parts must be equal as well. Students may line up their strips to see which fractions are equivalent. The fifth idea is a fraction game. It is very simple but extremely motivating. Your students will ask to play this one over and over. Students may play individually, with partners, or on teams. Set the timer, write a fraction on the board, and have your students write as many equivalent fractions as they can. I like to have students beat the timer, not necessarily each other. Record the results. Can they beat it tomorrow? Too easy? Reduce the timer. The final fraction strategy, don't worry, this really isn't the last one, I'll show you where to find more ideas in a moment, is relating it to their everyday world or interests. I once had a student with autism who loved Spongebob. I wrote so many word problems related to Spongebob and Patrick. Spongebob has a chocolate bar with eight total parts. He breaks his candy bar into two equal halves. How many of the eighths equal one half of his chocolate bar? Remember, your students need lots of time and practice to develop these foundational concepts. Visit our blog for lots more equivalent fraction teaching activities. Visit our store on Teachers Pay Teachers for free and low-cost printables. Have fun with your students.